Hey guys, it's Irfan here again. You remember my hand grip exerciser that I fixed in one of my previous videos. Well, one of my viewers saw my video, how I fixed it using, you know, extra springs that I found. And he had a question for me. He has a similar hand grip exerciser like this, which broke. I'll show you a picture here. That's his hand grip exerciser. And I'll show you what happened to his. It broke here. You see that part that I'm pointing at? That broke. And he was asking me if I have any ideas how to fix it. That part on mine is here. This uh, part that that's attached to the tensioner. As you turn it, it adjusts it from hard to soft. So I'm going to take it all the way in to the softest. As you go in, this gets slacker. I'm going to take it all the way in so I could remove the spring and simulate the part that's broken. Okay, so here we go. So, this part that you see in here which was on his hand exerciser, which is a, maybe a different manufacturer, I guess. It's a blue color. Mine is orange and gray. And I think his spring looks like the original spring. So now, it can't work. You either got to go out and buy a new one or try to fix it somehow. Now, I came up with an idea how to fix it, which is very simple, quick, and easy. What I came across in my box of junk is this thing here, which is some sort of an electrical junction box connector or something like that. I don't know what it is. But I know it's something to do with electricity and wires. Uh, stencil on the side here it says three quarters but I measured it across here that's one inch and I, can't, I couldn't find anything that says three quarters but anyhow this is what I propose to use if mine if this part here should get broken on mine this is what I'm gonna do I'll use this in here Now, you know, I'm just doing this camera action by myself. I don't have a camera person, cameraman or girl. So now, here we got it. It's working again with a very quick fix, but you can't adjust the tension. It's going to be set at that. What, what I'll have to do if I do this for myself is I have to get one of these with a smaller diameter to fit exactly over this orange knob so when I put it in I could tighten it down with the screw uh, I think yeah this here, this part here, as you tighten in it with this, with the uh, with a screw, it becomes tighter. But this is too big to tighten down enough on this here. So instead of three quarters, you might have to get a half inch. Now another thing I um, I notice is 
if I do it this way, give me a minute there, let me just hook the spring back up. Okay, I got it hooked up there. If I do it that way, right, you could see it's working there, but this is in too much. We need to get it out right up to here. If this was the right size, it could tighten down on this. So what you could do, in addition, is you could use some spacers. You could use some spacers inside of here, like a few quarters. Drop a few quarters in there to take up the extra space. And it's a way of saving money too. Like a piggy bank. So you'll put that there and it'll build up it'll build up the uh, the inside to whatever distance you want or whatever distance you need here. See how that's see how that's all the way out there now. Now if this was smaller you could tighten it down and make it make it snug. Now let me put the spring back in and see Give me a minute there guys. All right, so now it's spaced out right up to the edge here. And all you gotta do, if this was the right size, is tighten down this. And you'll have, you know, maximum tension. I could still do it there. It's gonna slip out. Yeah, I lost a quarter. I got a refund. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you is on here, on this part here, being it's got so much distance, let's use another spring just to show. This spring is going to move about here. What you could do is just put a bunch of washers on the left and right side to keep the spring centered. So that's my idea that I came up with to fix the hand grip exerciser if this part in here should get broken. All right, let me know what you guys think. Uh, it's the simplest, easiest, quickest fix that I could come up with. The other ideas I had require uh, more equipment, like you gotta have a vise, a drill, a drill bit, some hammer and stuff like that. It's more involved, but this is a quick fix that could work. Put this in there, I'll just do it one more time. Finally, put that in there, and you're back in business, okay? And all of these other springs here I showed you in the previous videos is what I'll keep for future. Uh, so far, the original spring broke, and I've gone through one, two, three, four replacement springs. I'm on the fifth one now and I haven't had to buy another hand grip exerciser. Alrighty. Thank you very much for watching guys and um, give me a comment let me know what you think. Thank you very much. Bye now.